All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakar, Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. All right, just come with another video. Okay, and, um, you know, this one I want to speak about those ICBM nuclear missiles, okay, which they are going to be used, all right, in World War Three, as, you know, Bible prophecy, man. Okay, these nuclear missiles, they're going to be used, man. You know, and it's the Lord's will. All right, World War Three is Bible prophecy, right? It's going to judge the wicked, all right, and all the evil that these nations have done. And, you know, I want to get some scriptures, man, going into these, uh, these missiles, man, all right, and the judgment that the Lord is going to bring. Okay, so I want to start with Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Alright, so, you know, the Lord has created this the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, alright? So, when you look at, um, you know, blacksmiths, when you look at, you know, uh, the work that they do, alright, they're the ones that, uh, you know, work with metals, and form weapons basically you know so these are uh, nuclear scientists and and you know those you know that were coming together to make these icbm nuclear missiles that was the will of the lord okay the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai uh, that was his will to have that created in the earth okay so when you look at uh, oppenheimer all right. And, you know, that movie that they made about him, you know, and how, you know, he was spearheading, you know, and, and um, you know, basically, you know, uh, made, you know, it, it possible for them to have this uh, sort of, you know, weapons. All right. The ICBM missiles. That was the Lord that set that up, man. You know. So that was an, an advancement in the type of uh, weaponry that they had, okay? Because before then you had the A bomb, okay, the atomic bomb, you know, which is less powerful. All right, this is the most powerful that they have to this day, man. The the ICBM nuclear missiles, all right, which can go, you know, and and hit, you know, various parts of the earth, man. They can travel across continents. All right, they have nuclear warheads, all right, which in one missile they can have several warheads in in one missile which makes it more powerful okay more devastating more damaging all right so it says and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work and i have created the waste to destroy so the purpose of these is just that to destroy okay and what is going to be destroyed this wicked kingdom this whole evil system all right ruled by these edomites the so-called white men all right, so the Lord has it to where they're going to destroy each other with these missiles, man, in World War Three. All right, these ICBM missiles weren't created for no reason. All right, they're not going to just be sitting in a museum collecting dust. They're going to be used, okay, because World War Three is around the corner, man. Okay, now we know that there's prophecies that has to unfold before the end destruction comes, right? The MOTB, the, the uh, micro, you know, CHIP. That has to come the hour of temptation before. But we know that that's even close. All right. And then after that, what's going to lead the ultimate destruction is going to be World War Three with these missiles, man. OK, this is Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. OK, so all wars, you know, in the ancient world. In the past, they were fought hand-to-hand -hand combat, swords, shields, all right? All right, armies of men charging at each other, trying to take each other's heads off, okay? Which you're going to have, you know, um, you know, combatants and military men, you know, in these last days. But the difference is with this, you know, World War Three, is going to be with ICBM nuclear missiles, okay? You know, that can be shot. From different uh, sides of the world man all right by the push of a button and you, you can have different cities and countries completely cancelled out wiped off the map 
So this is the type of warfare that's going to be coming, man. This is the difference. This is what is going to be so devastating, all right? And so world, um, you know, uh, you know, such a world-changing event. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 12 on down. It says, The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes there, thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Okay, so what is that talking about? That's when these ICBM nuclear missiles are used. All right, this is Bible prophecy, man. Okay, and this is all the Lord. The Lord is controlling this. All right, that's going to be the power. It says, strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Okay, so these nuclear missiles that come out of these silos. All right, when they're launched. All right, it's like, um, you know, comparable to when you know you you know you, how arrows are shot okay but it's not actually talking about an actual arrow it's talking about icbm missiles all right in these last days that's what's going to happen okay look it says his arrows that he shoot if are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world so if it was an actual bow and arrow how are you going to you know uh, shoot an actual you know bow and arrow and reach to different ends of the of the world. So it's not talking about that. It's actually talking about ICBM missiles that can go from one continent to another continent. And we've been seeing in the news how they've been testing it. All right, Russia has been testing theirs. You know, you know, all these other countries, these nations, America, they got nuclear missiles, and they can reach their destinations. You know, in in you know the other side of the world, in as little as an hour and less than thirty minutes. So this is the type of technology that the Lord allowed these devils to have, okay? Because it's going to bring judgment upon their wicked kingdom, okay? And it says they shall not miss. So yeah, this is going to be a sure thing. It's not going to be, oh, miss the target. It's not going to be, oh, missile defense system saved America. That's not what's going to happen, all right? Because it's the Lord's purpose, all right? He's created the waster to destroy and it's going to hit its target, all right? Those who is meant to be destroyed are going to be destroyed. Those who are going to be delivered will be delivered. Okay. So let me get the last few scriptures. Uh, let's go to... This is Second Peter chapter 3. And verse 10, but the day of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Okay, yeah, so the return of the Lord is going to come to a shock to most of the world, all right, because they're going to be unexpected. Okay, but the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. So, yeah, this, this whole uh, kingdom, right, this, you know, so called white man's system is all going to be done away with. All right. When these missiles hit, you know, that's going to be seen, man. It's going to be felt. OK, the scriptures tell you that the earth is going to shake to and fro like a drunkard. All right. When these missiles are hitting, you know, the earth is going to be rocking back and forth. OK, the waves are going to be shaking up. You know, the, the seas are going to be, you know, rising and, you know, it, it's all going to be unstable. OK, because that's going to be the wrath of the Lord, man. It's going to be a great, uh, you know, judgment in the earth. Right? And there's nothing that these Edomites can do to stop it. Okay, because it says, And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. All right. This battle shall be with burning and fuel of fire, man. All right. So these ICBM nuclear missiles are the ones that can do this. Okay, because that that's going to bring that intense heat. That's going to melt buildings, cars, people. You know, all you know, any all the elements that's you know in its path is going to be destroyed. It's going to melt. 
All right, that's the fiery judgment that the Lord is going is to bring, man. Okay, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, so yeah, this is all vanity, man. People trying to, you know, establish a, you know, a, a record deal, trying to be the best rapper, musicians, and you know, actors, and, and basically doing all the, the things of, you know, wickedness to get there, and the wickedness of this world. You know, that's all going to be in vain. All right. We're supposed to be seeking the Lord, man, and speaking these prophecies, seeking his word. All right. Because that's what's going to manifest. That's what's going to come to pass. All right. This word is the one uh, is the thing that's everlasting. All right. It says looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. So that's what we're supposed to be desiring man. that's what we're supposed to be doing. That's why we're seeking the Lord doing this work all right because the quicker that these things take place is the quicker that the the lord establishes the kingdom of heaven okay it says wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat because it's going to be terrible the judgment when these missiles hit is going to be unlike anything in, in like in any of these wars before all right the most uh, casualties, the most, you know, destruction, all right, great impact, because, you know, these people, they're going to be going through it, the scriptures tell you that, that people are going to be standing on their feet while their flesh is, is melting, their, their, their eyes melting and their tongue in there, and it's, you know, while they're standing on their feet, all right, people burned at, to death, man, you know, that radiation, you, you're going to see those mushroom clouds, all, all, you know, over America, it's going to be a great, you know, terrible judgment. All right. But we know that it's for a purpose. We know that it's going to also cleanse the earth, man, of all the filth, all the wickedness. This is the second death, man. All right. The first death being when uh, uh, the flood of Noah's time, all right, where only eight souls were delivered. All right. Everybody else, they were all destroyed. That's what's going to happen in these last days, man. All right, but it's going to lead to the kingdom of heaven. All right, that's why verse 13 says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, so meaning everything is going to be refreshed. All right, it's going to be the same earth, but rejuvenated. It's going to be like pressing a reset button. All right, and, what, and what's going to dwell? Righteousness. Righteousness is going to be throughout the earth because you're going to have Yahweh uh, Shimia Shai and the Israelites ruling. Right, establishing righteousness all over the earth. All right, new rulership. Okay, righteousness, man. That's what's going to be established in the earth after. Okay, but we know that World War Three and that destruction has to come first. All right, the judgment of the Lord has to come first. All right, so I'm going to end it here. I want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, Wahara, Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the elect, Shalom.